Okay, and welcome back. So today we're going to talk about angles, the types and pairs of angles you'll encounter in geometry. So the first angle is going to be an acute angle. And an acute angle is defined like this. Measure of angle, and let's just say, let's draw something out here. Let's draw that. And we'll call this A, B, C. And we'll say that the measure of angle a, B, C is less than 90 degrees. And what that's describing is this angle measure right in here. So as long as the measure of angle is less than 90 degrees, it's an acute angle. If it's equal to 90 degrees, then that's something called a right angle. And that's defined like this. Measure of angle A, B, C is equal to 90 degrees. And so let me draw that out for you. So it would look something like this. Here's A, here's B, and here's C. And that denotes that we have a 90 degree angle. And that is a right angle. Now, if we open up the angle some more, we'll end up with something called an obtuse angle. Okay, and that's defined like this. First of all, let me draw one out for you. angle A, B, C. And so the measure of angle A, B, C is greater than 90 degrees. And that's an obtuse angle. Now if we open up the angle some more, we'll end up with something called a straight angle. And that's defined like this. First of all, let me draw it. There's A, B, C. And a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. Okay. Now the last angle I'm going to talk about is the, or at least the last type, is the reflex angle. And let me write this down here, reflex angle. And that's defined like this. First of all, you see this acute, go up to the top here. You see the acute angle with a measure of less than 90 degrees? The reflex angle is actually this measure right here. That's actually the reflex angle. It's the angle measure on the outside. Okay, so the reflex angle is, we're going to call this particular angle, let's just say angle CBA. Okay, I'm just going to write this as measure of angle CBA is less than 360 degrees. And the reason why is because if it was equal to 360 degrees, it'd be the same ray you start off with and it's greater than 180 degrees and the reason why is because if it was 180 degrees then you'd be talking about the same angle you see if this is 180 degrees the reflex angle is the other side which is also 180 degrees so there's no need to mention that so now let me move on to the pairs of angles that you'll encounter in geometry and we'll start off with adjacent angles. And adjacent angles have the same vertex. I'll draw this out for you. And share a common side but have no common interior point. All right, the main thing you gotta remember is that they share the same vertex, so here it is. Here is an example of adjacent angles. Okay, this is the vertex B. Here's A, B, C. So I've got one angle. I've got angle A, B, C. And then I've got another angle, C, B, D. And so these are adjacent angles. So A, B, C adjacent to angle C, B, D. Now as far as no common interior point, what that really relates to is when you have two angles like this. You have one angle here and then you draw another angle 
right here. These are not adjacent angles because watch, if I draw a point in here, you see this is what they're talking about. They share no common po no no common interior point. Um, that's probably something I should mention. Here's the interior of the angle, and here's the exterior of the angle. So here's the interior of the angle, and here's the exterior of the angle. But anyway, that's what it basically means when it says don't share. They don't have a common point. So anyway, let me get rid of that right there to clear this up. And the only thing you need to remember about adjacent angles is that this is the common side, okay, BC, to the angle ABC and the other angle CBD, okay? So now the next angle we're going to talk about is called complementary angles.